All right, guys, I'm going to go over this worksheet with you. So it explains a little clearly how to, a little clearer how to complete it. So we have the question, KT fa male, which means what hurts you? And I could say something hurts me, or I can say something hurts him or hurts her, and so on. So if you look at number one, or the first section, non po means he or she or it cannot. Um, so Carlo non po mangiare. Carlo cannot mangiare means to eat. So Carlo cannot eat. These are all problems that people are having. And these are parts of the body that would hurt someone. Okay, so we have Carlo non può mangiare. If someone can't eat, usually their stomach hurts. So your answer for one would be B. Gli fa male lo stomaco. Okay, now the reason there's li and le here is because if we're saying something is hurting a boy, it's li. And if we are saying that something is hurting a girl, it is le. Now, if it is it, um, Usually, we probably wouldn't use it for it's hurting something, but we would go with if the word is masculine versus if the word is feminine. So we don't really have to worry about that right now because we are talking about people. Um, so we don't have that problem. So here it's saying he or she, it's hurting to them. So orecchio, stomaco, piedi, testa, gola, le dita. So you're going to look here, look at the problem that's going on. And you're going to say, what is going on with them? What is hurting them? What? Why are they having this problem? So like I said, number one would be B, because he can't eat, his stomach hurts. Now, if you look at the second part of the worksheet, there's a question, Katie Famale, what is hurting you? And your answer is going to be, mi Famale. So right here is your example answer. Mi fa male. Mi fa male means it is hurting me. Okay, what is hurting you? In this case, it's la braccia. Okay, la braccia is arm. So if we go to number one, we see que ti fa male, what hurts you? And you see she's pointing to her head. So we would write, mi fa male, something is hurting me. And what is hurting me? La testa. My head is hurting me. Okay, now if you scroll down, you're going to look at these pictures. Some of them you could have different answers, like um, maybe foot or leg. Here would be foot. If you want to say fingers for these or hand, that's fine, as long as it's logical with what you see in the picture. Um, I just want to make a point for number six, KT Fano Male. Fano versus fa is an easy concept to understand once you get it. So fa, male, is something is hurting me, one thing. So my one leg is hurting, my one mouth is hurting, my one tooth is hurting. If you look at the, the picture for number six, there are two eyes. So now you were saying they are hurting me. My eyes are both hurting me. So whenever you have something that's plural, you're going to use fanno. And your answer is going to be the same, mi fanno male. And then you would put the eyes. Okay, so it's the same concept as fa versus fanno, except one's plural, one's singular. And you guys are pretty used to that, the difference between singular and plural in Italian, because we, it, it comes up all the time.